Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Snuggles and Storytime. My name is Amanda, and I'm so glad to see you today. Have you had a great day? Today was an exciting day in Wisconsin. We had a big snowstorm. So today at school, we got to make snowmen. It was so fun. Today, I've got two great stories to share with you. But before I tell you about the stories, let's sing hello. Put your hands up to sing with me. Here we go. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Hello, all my friends, how are you? With the jiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hello, all my friends, how are you? Today, we've got two great stories, and they're talking about how things are different, but the same. The word for that is called diversity, how people are the same, but different. And today, we're going to talk how kids can be diverse, how they can be all kinds of different, okay? And we're going to change how we do things today. Instead of doing my game at the end, I'm going to do my game first to help us understand what diversity is and then we'll read one story then we'll sing the song then we'll read another story are you ready for a little bit of a change okay it's time for our game first today for my game i have cards that have shapes on them and we're going to look to see are the shapes the same or are they different there's two shapes on every card. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna mix them up. Mixing, 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 mixing. <gasps> Stop! Here's my first ones. Are these the same or different? They are different, you're right. This is a circle and this is a rectangle. That's not the same. Are they the same color? No, they're very different. Let's try another card. Ooh. Ooh, here's a neat one. Are these shapes the same or are they different? Very good. They're not the same shape, but they are the same color. What's this shape? A circle, well done. What's this shape? A triangle, it has points. Let's count the sides. One, two, three. When I'm looking at that shape in my head, I say triangle. That's how I remember it's a triangle. They are the same color, but different shapes. Let's try another card. Are you ready? Ooh, here's two shapes. Are these shapes the same or are they different? Yes, they're different. They're not the same shape and they're not the same color. What's this shape? A circle, yes. What's this shape? Mm, that's a tough one. That's a square. A square has four sides that are all the same. A circle doesn't have any sides. It's just one big circle. One big line, no corners. Not the same. Let's try one more. Ooh, this is tricky. Are these the same? or different? They are, they're different. They are not the same shape. They are not the same color. Do you remember what this shape is? Triangle, good. What's this shape? Oh, it's really long and skinny. It's a really long, rectangle. Are they the same or different? They're different. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to be really tricky. 
That'll be really tricky. I'm going to show you two cards at the same time. And you have to see, are there any shapes that are the same or different? Okay. Here are my two cards. It's very tricky. Are there any that are the same? Oops, my fingers are in the way. Let's scoot them over. Are there any that are the same? Yes, there are two rectangles. They're the same shape. Are they the same color? No. Is there anything else that's the same? Ooh, this is a tricky one. Let me show you. These two, they're not the same shape, but these are straight lines. And this shape is all made with straight lines. So they're not the same shape, but they do both have straight lines. Yeah, they're kind of the same. So having things that are same or similar and some differences is a good thing. It'd be boring if every shape looked like this, right? Mm -hmm. We need things to look a little bit different so we can appreciate the beauty of all the differences that are in our world. It's a good thing to have some differences. And today we're gonna talk about diversity. Diversity is how you want lots of people to be different and how those differences are okay. Are you ready? It's time for our first story, yay! My first story is one that I found just a little bit ago in the library. Do you have a library where you live? You should check it out sometime. Libraries are great places with lots of books. And normally there's people there who love books as much as I do. I bet they'll help you find a really great book to look at. My story today is about all these different kids. Do they look the same? No, some have ponytails, some have glasses, some have different colored skin. Some have different types of hair. But how are they all the same? They're all kids. You're right. They might look a little bit different, but they're all kids. That's called diversity. Our first story is called, A Kid is a Kid is a Kid means you can be different, but you're still a kid. Mm -hmm. It's written by Sarah O'Leary, and it's illustrated by Quinn Langan. Are you ready? It's a great story. I think you will like it. So in this story, it's a bunch of kids and they're going to school. This is their school building. Doesn't look like my building. This building is tall. My school is low to the ground. There's not stairs to take to walk to another floor. Does your school have stairs to walk to more floors? Some schools do, some schools don't. Mine doesn't, but theirs does. Here we go. Being the new kid is hard, said this one. So she's new at school. That could be kind of scary being new at school. You might not know where to go or who could be your friend. I can think of better things to ask me than, are you a boy or a girl? Hmm. Sometimes people ask questions that aren't very nice. Do you think this child wants to be asked, are you a boy or a girl? It might make her heart feel sad. You're right. What kind of question is that? Oh, now comes another girl. I get asked all the time why I have my nose in a book. Books 
are my life, they said. Is it bad to like books? No. They're different and that's okay. I get asked all the time why I'm so small, said that person. I'd rather get asked what big word I can spell. He's writing it on chalk. Do you know what it says? Let's flip the book so we can read it. It says ludicrous. Ludicrous means crazy or wild or just a far out idea. It's just hard for your mind to even understand it. Ludicrous. Oop, here comes another person. I get asked where I come from. Here. I come from here. Sometimes people ask, oh, where are you from? And that's a confusing question because maybe you don't know and maybe you don't know how to answer them because we come from all kinds of places. It's a tough question to ask sometimes. Ooh, take a look, what is she doing? She's jumping rope and she looks really good at it. I don't know why we are always asked if we're identical twins, said these two. Do you know what a twin is? A twin is two people who are born at the same time, like one after another, by the same mom and dad or mom and mom. They're born at the same time to the same family. That's a twin. Mm -hmm. And then they're looking at each other. Hmm. Do they look kind of the same to you? I see they both have the same kind of nose and the same kind of eyes. And I even notice that when they're thinking, both of them touch their chins. Do you think they're twins? I think they're twins. This person on the swing says, I was asked why I didn't have any friends. Then this boy said, I'm their friend. And now he is. Hmm, if you're new someplace, would it be kind of scary to not have friends? It would. Asking me why I wear the same shirt all the time isn't logical, said this boy. I mean, look at it. It's an exceptional shirt. Take a look. I can't decide if those are snakes or dragons. What do you think? It's a pretty cool shirt, though. I think I would get frustrated if I got asked some of these questions. Because it's like they're looking for me to say one answer. Or like there's something wrong with me. But there's not. They're just all different. Oh, this person says, Why would anyone ask me why my sister was born different? Everyone is different. Ooh. So here's her baby sister. And she's in a plastic box. And they have some medical things. There's like a tube and, a, and buttons on her. That's called an incubator. An incubator is used to keep babies warm when they're stillborn if the doctors need to give them some extra help. Mm -hmm. Oop, here's one. Ask me what I can do, not what I can't. <gasps> Take a look carefully. Can you see what's different about her? She has one leg and then she has one, it's called a prosthesis or like a, a mechanical leg. So one of her legs either really, really got hurt and the doctor had to take it off or maybe she was born with only one leg. So she has a prosthesis. You can see how that leg is different. It's like a mechanical leg that she walks around on now. Would that make her different from other kids? Yeah.
Does that make her a bad person? No, she's just different and that's okay. Being different is a good thing. You should ask me my dog's name, said this person. It's Pumpkin Pie. Pumpkin Pie is a name for a dog. That's interesting. You can ask me to try my lunch. I love to share. Look at his big lunch. That sure is a lot of food. He must be hungry. I wish you would ask me about my grandmother's house, said this one. I was so happy there. Oh, it looks like she is growing all kinds of things. Does your grandma have a house like that? Mine doesn't. Oh, back to that first person. You know, I think there's one question we all would like. And then they say, hey kid, do you wanna play? Do all kids like to play? They do. They might like to play in different ways or with different toys, but all kids like to play because a kid is a kid is a kid. So they're different, but they're still the same. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I like it. I like when we have different friends who have different interests in our class. And I even like it when we don't all look the same. It's one of my favorite things. Are you ready to sing a song? I really like that first song, that first story, but our next song will get us ready for our second book. Our song is about that big word that Martin Luther King Jr. taught us. Do you remember about him? how he wanted everyone to just be nice to people. Because back when Martin Luther King Jr. was little, people were really mean to each other. And even today, people can be mean. So we're gonna sing this word. Do you know what this word is? Peace, let's spell it. P-E-A-C-E. -E. We're gonna sing this song and when we sing it, we're gonna make one letter disappear and we're gonna put a clap in its place. You can clap your hands or you can hit your leg like that. Your choice. I'm gonna hit my leg because otherwise I might drop the board and that would be a problem. Are you ready? Okay, here's our song. Martin Luther had a dream of peace for all to see. P E. A C E P E A C E P E A C E. That was Martin's dream. Uh oh. It's time to make a letter disappear. Now we have to put a clap in its place. Are you ready? Here we go. Martin Luther had a dream of peace for all to see. E A C E E A C E E A C E That was Martin's dream. Another letter goes away. Now we have to clap two times. Martin Luther had a dream of peace for all to see. A C E. A C E. A C E. That was Martin's dream. Time to erase the letter. Now we need to do three claps. Martin Luther had a dream of peace for all to see. 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 That was Martin's dream. Time to erase another letter. 
Martin Luther had a dream of peace for all to see. E. 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 That was Martin's dream. Uh-oh. I have to erase the last letter. Can we do it again, but with just claps this time? Okay, here we go. Martin Luther had a dream of peace for all to see. That was Martin's dream. Nice job, friends. I sure do like singing songs with you. You are a very good singer. We have one more story to share, and this is a super fun one. I found it at this one at the library, too. It's called One Little, Two Little, Three Little Children. See, there's lots of kids on this book. Are they all the same? No. Is that a bad thing? No. Can you think of something that makes them the same? Yes, they all have eyes. Can you think of another thing? They all have hands. They're all kids. All good things. Our next story is called One Little, Two Little, Three Little Children. And it's written by Kelly Dapokjo and it's illustrated by Mary Lundquist. It's a great story. I can't wait to share it with you. Here we go. One little, two little, three little children. Loved little, hugged little, snug little children. Cry, little, shy, little, my little children. All children round the world. Are they all kids? They are. They are doing different things, but they're all kids. One loving, two loving, three loving daddies. Smart, loving, art, loving, heart, loving daddies. Peace, loving, strong, loving, long, loving daddies. All daddies round the world. Are all these daddies the same? They're not, but they're all daddies. That's diversity. One playful, two playful, three playful mommies. Book playful, bath playful, laugh playful mommies. Rise playful, wise playful, eyes playful mommies. All mommies round the world. <gasps> They're swimming! That looks like fun. One cozy, two cozy, three cozy houses. Hmm. Are all the houses the same? No. And that's okay too. Big, cozy, small, cozy, tall, cozy houses. Snow, cozy, stick, cozy, brick, cozy houses. All houses around the world. These are lots of different kinds of houses. This one is probably an apartment building. That's where there's lots of houses in one building. Mm -hmm. This house is on the water. And this house is under the ground. Can you imagine if you lived under the ground? 
I wonder if it'd be really dark. Maybe we could use lights. That could work. One singing, two singing, three singing voices. Lap singing, loud singing, proud singing voices. Girl singing, boy singing, joy singing voices. All voices round the world. Ten, little nine, little eight, little families. Furry, little finned, little grinned, little families. Kissed, little kind, little mind, little families. One big family round the world. Look at all those families. That's amazing. Each family is a little bit different because it has different people in it. But they're all families. Isn't that a great thing? I love when there's diversity. Diversity is a great thing. I'm so glad you were able to join me today. And I hope you enjoyed the stories. Please give yourself a great big hug. And know that I care about you always. Take care, my friends. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.